Hi everybody. I wanted to make a quick video on my current thinking on um, setting up a uh, projection curve using the astronomy module. There's been a lot of recent discussion on the timing solution group about uh, the number nine. <laughs> Thank you Robert Rundle for giving that hint and uh, another member of the group Aldina um, mentioned to me uh, the triads that were mentioned in uh, the Luo Clements book, which is widely known as a, a pseudonym for uh, W.D. Gann, um, about triads that um, certain number systems of uh, triads, he called it, um, are very important. Um, and in terms of what I've been researching, the um, 369. Uh, series of numbers seems to be important for the Euro USD. So this is a quick um, video, hopefully quick, on me showing you how I'm setting up a projection curve for this pair. Um, so let's see, the first thing I do is I turn to the um, view of what's going on and uh, I'm a creature of habit and uh, have been using Astrolog before I got involved with Timing Solution so this is an easy way for me to uh, check quickly um, and, and to um, go forward and backward in time um, and what I did here is I, I loaded, let me even back up one other step here I went over to my uh, FXCM historical data don downloader um, for the Euro USD and used a uh, end date of a year ago at um, October 22nd, 2016, and gave about uh, seven months of data before that, uh, looking at the 30 minute time frame. And the goal was to try to predict what the following week, um, which is next week in, in real time a year later, but the following week, October uh, 24th uh, through 28th will be uh, 2016. So um, I loaded up that data in Timing Solution and here it is. You can see the year is 2016 and this is next week uh, a year ago, <laughs> if that makes sense. And uh, in checking the chart here, um, I'm seeing Uranus is uh, mostly in the clear, but that there, and um, I'm very interested in Saturn also with this pair. Um, Saturn uh, is part of the triad if you add up the letters of Saturn. It's it, it number six, and yet it's forming this conjunction with Venus here. Um, also, Pluto and Mars are conjunct that week. Um, so, um, I noticed that uh, Saturn works well, um, but when it's uh, influenced like a conjunct or an opposition or a square, uh, that it's important to make a composite of both of these planets. So that's what I did. Let me bring up that. Uh, Okay, also Pluto is out there. Um, let me see what I was thinking on that one. Mars and Pluto are conjunct here. Um, and Mars and Pluto, if you add up M-A-R-S and P-L-U-T-O, that makes number nine uh, in terms of numbers of letters per the 1909 uh, Little Clements book, The Science of Numbers. Um, and the pair resonates well with number nine. Um, so I'm going to stick with number nine on this uh, projection. And I put up Mars Pluto and I use, I'm using a phase of ninth harmonic and I clicked back the LBC back to uh, a month prior in September uh, and I clicked around until I found um, 2.7 cycles, which these two numbers uh, sum up to the number 9 as well. And um, so just to be, sh be clear here, um, I loaded data that ended um, on the 21st of October uh, 2016. Uh, there's, this data doesn't exist yet in any form, but I also set the learning border cursor back a month. Um, K 
came up with a uh, phase of 9, and 2.7 also reduces to 9. Um, and so let me just throw up that curve here. Let me click over here and zoom in and see what's up for next week. Actually, how did it look for the week prior here? And it's okay, but that's another story. I'll go back and see that again. But what we've got here is um, a drop basically after the open, and um, a low on Monday, uh, late morning, and a rise up. Uh, just a minor bobble in here, but basically an uptrend right through the end of the week. Um, so, uh, looking at my MT4 chart on the hourly, just because that's easier to load back that far. Um, taking a look again at that week, um, uh, October 24th, 2016, through the 28th, 2016. Uh, this is where we opened, and um, we're showing a low or a bottoming right down here at noon, roughly, on Monday. And notice that we had an actual bottom at 10 a.m. Uh, even if I went to the noon hour here, oh, I should point out, um, this gives me an overall point of view, but if I were to try to pinpoint it more, my tendency is to drop this down maybe to 15%. And I have a first bottom, let's see, trying to read this here, at 526, a second bottom at 20, 100 hours on Monday. Let me try another one at 25% and 5%. Okay, so it's, it's not pinpointing exactly, but it's giving me a rough estimate of when the bottom should occur. I'll go back up 50% and 100% on smooth orb which is smoothing out all the bobbles. Let me even try a little higher and see what happens. 166, nope, 133. So it's basically right in here. Bringing back this chart. Um, if I, I start to look at um, regular analysis, I can see the stochastic, oh, this is a, a RSX here, I'm sorry, is bottoming at 10 a.m. in the morning and starts to rise up after that. Um, but let me just mark what the chart said. So somewhere in here was the bottom, and then we had a general uptrend until Friday close, which is right here. Okay, and let's call that, uh, well, a gain of 10 pips, 9 pips, and from here up we closed with 103 pips, so about 113 is net on a kind of quiet week, but you can see that the general uptrend is caught pretty well. Um, and this is as honest as I can make the program in terms of being blind to what was going to happen in the future. Um, um, and if you vary uh, and say, well, does 9 really matter? What if I set the LBC up, let's say, to the beginning of this week here? And the curve still looks good, um, and let's see, the the nines all the way through aren't definitive, but um, this one adds up to 19, which is uh, reduces to 10, or number one, I'm sorry. <clears throat> all right, I've gone on long enough, but it's something to experiment with and try out and see what are the parameters for uh, where does the system break down? Let me try another LBC in here and see what happened further down. Oops. It went out a little later. Um, so, anyway, I will leave it at this. Uh, take care.